Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your November reading with myself. This is going to be a general reading so it may not resonate with everybody so please just take what resonates with you. Okay Sagittarius, can you believe we're in November already? I just I don't understand where this year is going. It's absolutely flying by. I'm going to put some links in the description box below, so please do go check them out. It will be for some books that I've got available on Amazon and my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. So do go and have a look at her readings as well. Okay, just one card left for your spread, Sagittarius. Oh, and it does look interesting, doesn't it? You've got the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands and the Empress. So this is your recent past Sagittarius, which is the last few weeks, really. And it's the Nine of Wands. So you've been through something of a bit of a struggle. Now, this could be related to your work or your home life, because wands usually represent work or home life. I'm really, really drawn to this person's green boots. I don't know why they just really stand out to me. Now, green to me, it's like the colour of healing, like renewal, growth. So I really feel for you, Sagittarius, there could have been some changes that's gone on around your work or your home life where there's been new beginnings, renewal, growth. But this has been of a somewhat of a struggle for you mentally, learning all the changes, getting to grasp with things, trying to play catch up all the time. And it's left you a bit tired, a bit wary, and you're kind of thinking, well, what's next? What is next? You know, where is this all leading to? With Christmas coming up, I just wanted to quickly show you some books that I've got available on Amazon. I've got Tradesman's Books, An Introduction to Mediumship, Manifesting Success, Pigeon Racing Books, just follow the links in the description box below and that will take you to my author page on Amazon where you can take a look at all the books that I've got available. Like I said, they make wonderful Christmas presents. So follow those links and take a look and I hope you enjoy the books that I've got on offer and I hope that you treat somebody for Christmas to a wonderful book. And it's new opportunities here with the Queen of Cups. This person, she sat quite settled in the red lotus flower. Red being the grounding chakra, the base chakra. So that's about personal security, personal stability, feeling safe in the world, feeling loved, feeling wanted and secure. So you're going to have some opportunities come for you in November, Sagittarius. Now, these opportunities, it can, you know, this is a general reading, so it's going to mean something different for everybody, but it's going to make you happy because it's cups. Cups are your emotions. So whatever comes your way, it's going to please you. It's going to make you happy. It's going to be something that you've wanted. what's helping you is you really are moving to better times. Again, another six here. So you're moving to better times. You're coming out of the rough. You're going into the smooth. And you've got a good support network around you, Sagittarius, which is really, really good. You've got people that you can rely on, whether this is friends or whether this is family members. You have got some loyal people around you that can help guide you in the right direction and keep you sort of firm. Now, the Seven of Wands, this is a bit of a warning, this card. And the advice to you with this card is saying you're going to come up against minor 
challenges Sagittarius you're gonna have just minor delays minor blips on your pathway and that's normal in life delays that are out of your control you know things happen and you've got to sort this out you know you send your paperwork off and then it gets sent back and you've got to fill something else in but what this card says is don't rush things don't rush don't be in too much of a hurry to make things happen take your time because if you rush then you may make a mistake and you may miss some vital information. So don't rush things, Sagittarius. Take your time. Make sure you've got all the facts before you make decisions. Make sure you've got all the facts before you challenge any obstacles. And just don't rush things. And look, you've got the Empress card, your outcome, its fertility, its growth, its rebirth. You can see this lady, she sat here and she is a pregnant lady in this card. Now, it doesn't necessarily signify the birth of a baby. But for those of you who are trying, it could say November is a good month to try the rebirth there. But it just signifies abundance and growth and fertility. So in all aspects, Sagittarius. It's saying, take your time here when you tackle your obstacles and you've got some really good opportunities coming up that could lead you to this abundant lifestyle. Everything that you've wanted. So take your time, Sagittarius. There's no rush. You'll get there when you do.